Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source. Hello to our fans online, I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Wednesday, September 25th. We begin with more moderate tones set from the new leader of Iran, President Hassan Rouhani, is calling for friendship with the West, and he's promising never to build nuclear weapons. President Obama and President Rouhani were in New York yesterday for the UN General Assembly, but they did not meet face to face. Rouhani tells CNN that he accepts the Holocaust, calls it a great crime against Jews by the Nazis. During his interview, he also condemned all genocides. It's a major change from Iran's previous president, who refused to even acknowledge that the Holocaust happened. In Italy, the search has resumed for the bodies of two victims still missing. Nearly two years after the wreck of the Costa Concordia, 50 divers, 25 fighters are looking for those bodies. The work began alongside the ship that has been lifted out of the sea. Divers have not yet entered those underwater decks. Cameras have been sent in those areas. They are not considered safe just yet for divers. And just days away from the rollout of the president's new health care law, Senator Ted Cruz launched a marathon protest on Capitol Hill. The Tea Party conservatives started a talkathon at 2.41 p.m. yesterday afternoon and promises to talk until he can no longer speak. He's not technically filibustering. He's been filling the time by talking about the Washington ruling class, the Revolutionary War, and reciting the children's book, Green Eggs and Ham. The protest goes on even though Republicans do not have the votes to defund Obamacare. That is my favorite Dr. Seuss book, I'll say that much. <laughs> Finally from China, quite a get together here. <gasps> One of China's big panda breeding centers there showing off 14 cubs that were born there between July and September. The little ones joined the center's existing family of 128 giant pandas. Despite all of them, pandas are still on the critically endangered list. I just noticed there are a couple of really big ones. Yeah, those I guess are the ones who were like uh, a like few weeks. Like the alphas? Yeah. Yeah. I think they're different. I, I think those, the big ones in the back, like, I'm, I don't know, maybe you're right. Do you think they're all from the same litter? I have no idea. Maybe they're not. You might be right. They're, they're all cute. They're all adorable. Especially, especially that, one. that one. Man, oh man. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Why would a yoga teacher purposely gain 40 pounds? And how did her dramatic weight gain dramatically help her students' lives? This morning, get ready to be inspired on Good Morning America on ABC.